What the f*** is up, YouTube? We're out here in Dubai. As you can see, there is my Lamborghini Aventador parked in the car park down there. It's actually going to be going on. Over the next one or two days, we're going to be exploring the beautiful city of Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. This shirt was fucking like $11. That, I don't remember. That, $160 on sale. Absolutely pain shoes. I got a bone to pick with motherfuckers that wear soccer jerseys. Turn around. It's not a soccer jersey, dumb motherfucker, but I got some. So what else you got to say about it? Well, I got to say, do you have ones with other men's name on the back? No. Oh, well then. Ah, uh, valid, valid. It's still gay. It's still gay. I still get Latina. It's gayer. I still got a five foot Latina. Where is she? She's in Where is she? Mexico. She's obviously in Mexico. She's yeah, coming yeah, yeah. soon. Yeah. She's going to be out, mate. She's, She's not real. She's not real. She's, She's real, fake. Bro. She's She's fake. fake. Okay, bro, she won't be cooking for fake. you, bro. She won't be cooking for you, bro. She's gonna be cooking for us. Chat, like, is it gay to have an e-girlfriend chat, yes or no? It's only been a week, bro. <laughs> I'll show you guys how we're living. Oh my god. Oh, is this Holloway for skate cheat? <laughs> oh, good shot. That's, that's straight to the bodies there, Mitch. Yeah. Oh, good shot. You both got a good shot there. Good shot. Oi. Good switch then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Even when I'm in church, can't pick my scrap down. Uh -huh. We put niggas on white t shirt when they get smacked down. Uh -huh. Yeah, some room of nights, my mama ain't had no lights. And I can't trust you with my Something I learned as well is that people don't do things for people that they just know. When I joined the sales agency, I mean, the reason I think they gave back into me so more is one, because I put in more effort. But two, they actually like me. So yeah. people think, oh, having a network is knowing a lot of people. But actually having a network is like having a lot of people that like you, trust you, because they're going to be way more willing to do shit for you. Nice, 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 nice. 18, young nigga trying to buy a lane out hoop dreams. Uh -huh. What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today I'll be taking you through a bit of a shisha talk featuring... Ken The man. Introduce the f***ing, I'm the mastermind behind all this. Without me? This wouldn't be uh, possible, you know? <laughs> Type shit. Yeah, that won't make me cough more than <laughs> You got some insights on that? Yeah, so... Oh, dude, I was actually reading a really good newsletter. So, guys, if you want to get better at copywriting and speaking... No, actually, I'd say speaking and articulating your thoughts, go right now and sign up to a couple newsletters. Every single one of your favorite creator has it. Mike Thurston, anyone on YouTube, just go to their links, sign up to their newsletter, see the types of emails that you're getting from them, and see the way that they structure it out and stuff like that. I was horrible in school. I failed English. English is my... No, it's my first language. But yeah, sign up to newsletters, and especially if you're going into an online business and like you need to be good at copywriting or, or selling or marketing, see the way that they articulate their thoughts and send you emails and stuff like that because that's one of the best ways to, to like get an insight what's up my people what we're not going to do is listen to dylan all right the most uneducated entrepreneur that i've personally met the most woke. The most uh, he, he, he draws lines in, in weird places so i got flagged about no they support it here so it's fine so i got flagged about saying that transgender people have mental issues twice i've been striked on my tiktok account and why that matters is because i drive a lot of our traffic to sell my digital products through tiktok so if i lose that that's a really big chunk of the revenue that's coming in and i just launched it like literally two days ago let me stand on business F all my platforms 
full transgender people. You have no platform. You can say fuck whatever you Indians. want. Fuck all you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about none of you. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here. That's for sure. It wasn't for God, bro. God yeah, facts. The real Lord, though, for real. This is your boy, Skinny Penis, Danny D. Call me whatever you want to call me. We're about to hit the Dubai Mall, the world biggest mall in the world. The mall that you're not going to, we're going to, because we made it. No, no, not yet, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna show you, we're gonna pimp my boy out, make him look like me a little bit. Fuck no! Man. Hey, you, you can't take the, the, you can't take the hood out You're of not me. catching me like this. You'll never catch me He's wearing bar bro. bro. You can't take He's me out the hood. You can take me out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the kid. That's all I'm saying. But we're about to hit the mall. Let's see what happens, Ooh, game. Man. We're going to the Burj Khalifa. Then we're gonna go Whoa, shopping. Whoa! Is she gonna get fucking banned again? No, I just, no, you, that's what it's called. I remember back when them bitches wouldn't give me a bite, now they begging my feet for some crumbs. You not with me, you would lead to a bone. Get the fuck on my face, trying to be in my fun. Shotty said, kids, come back to my place, so I'm deep in that bitch with my dick and my thumb. I get to doing my dance when I'm up in that pussy, that bitch finna need a new law. What the hell do you two? We're in the biggest mall in Dubai. Let's go have a look around, let's go cop some shit. I'm gonna probably get a bust down Cartier or something, Rolex, something of that nature. And then, yeah, we'll lock back in once we're inside. <laughs> The number one message I want to convey to all of you watching this at home is that as I've continued to level up and upgrade my character over the years in business and on this journey, the one thing that I've realized, because people always come to me for advice and they ask me questions and they say, what can I do? How can I do it? How quickly can I see success? The number one thing people always lack is vision. Now, why is vision important? Vision is important because you need a vision and you need a plan because for you to get to where you want your dream life is going to take a lot of pain and suffering. And for the pain and suffering to be worth it, you need to be able to see your vision clearly. You need to be able to paint a picture so clearly that you're able to step into it. Because if you cannot see where you're going, then you are not going to want to get there or be able to put yourself through the pain and suffering required to get there. And you cannot break that down into a plan. So you must have a vision. From that vision, you must construct a plan. Once you have those two things, then and only then can you become successful. So watching this now, you need to paint a picture or just sketch a draft. Thank you for watching. I got two phones, one for the plug. Oh, hey. <laughs> I got two phones, one for the plug and one for the ups, because you can get popped and you can get dropped and you can get swapped. Come on. Change your angle, Marcel. Change your angle. Circling to the left, Marcel. Yeah, he's circling that way, Marcel. He's going to drop it. See that? That right, that right elbow, he's dropping it. Circle to the right then, circle to the right. That's it, he's gonna drop, he's gonna drop that arm muscle. Pereira, Pereira, Pereira. <laughs> peak to the left. Peak, yeah, peak to the left, good job. <laughs> Fuck that eggs. Fuck your eggs, Dan. Do it for the eggs, bro. Put him in a box. Put him in a box, bro. She slipped it back in, bro. Put him in a box. Ah, right, myself. Get it, get it with a couple good ones, dear. Come on, bro. Did you see that Bishop got stabbed? Who? Bishop Marman. Bro, Mitch was actually talking about this this morning. He got stabbed by some Muslim in, in, the, in, the, in, the in Australia. Yeah, bro, yeah. yeah. Look, I'll show you this. No Bishop Mayan manual. So, if you're like me, you procrastinate a lot and you're in your head a lot of the time. Especially if you want to do really big things in life and stuff like that. Like, I'm sure you can probably relate to this in yourself. Was where you just sit there and you're like, I know I need to get stuff done, but why am I not doing it? Can't relate. Continue. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. But a lot of the time, that stress that you're getting is from things that you know you should be doing, but you're not doing it. So how can you get rid of it? You just have to do the thing. Do the thing and you get the power. I don't know what book that's off, but you need to 
remove all everything like all your distractions so that all you can do is just work like i got the most work done when i would literally leave my phone in the other room of my apartment or better yet leave it downstairs in the car drive the car around the corner and leave it there so like literally there's a barrier to entry for me to walk down and go and get my phone and go on instagram if you want to go on instagram and you work online just have it on your laptop but a lot of the time it's us holding ourselves back because we're not doing the things that we need to be doing procrastination how do you eliminate it just do the thing well basically what he just said in translation just just stop being a bitch, really. Just fucking get it done and then enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because if you're gonna be a bitch, you're just gonna be a bitch for your Bro, whole that is life. Strong. The harder I work, the luckier I get. Everyone says it. I think, one, luck doesn't exist. I think luck is something that atheists believe in, first of all. I think everything that you get is God given, and obviously, God has favorites. God rewards people that work hard. You position yourself in a position to be lucky by working hard. I was lucky enough to meet my mentor, but I met that mentor because I was seeking. Seeking you shall find. Mm. Then, everything that happened after that, people look at it as lucky. Oh, he got a good connection. He was lucky enough to get a good connection. Then, it, everything kind of fell into place for him. But, once I made that connection, around 200 people have made that same connection, but not utilized it to the same extent. Why? Because I understood positioning. I understood that I had to have people not only know me, but like me. I understood that I needed to apply myself, work hard, and build the right relationships within that network. And that's what I did. And you create your own luck by positioning yourself, by doing the right things, and by putting the adequate input into a specific endeavor. When it comes to atheists, I, get, I spit this on sales calls with people because it's such a banger, but a man with no purpose distracts himself with pleasure. And every time I meet an atheist, they're obsessed with the things that feel pleasurable. Exactly. When you have someone who's going out and clubbing and doing all these things and, and just smashing girls, yeah, they don't... No, no God in their life. They, don't, they have no God. They do not want to be held accountable for the things they do. And that's why they also, they, that, that's why they're atheists because they don't want to be held accountable. But also, they don't have a purpose. They don't have a deeper sense of meaning in the work they do. So they just do the things that feel good periodically. People that distract themselves with pleasure are the people who have no purpose. And what gives you purpose? Something deeper. A relationship with God, deeper meaning, deeper endeavor in your life. Yeah. Oh, that's key. Fuck yeah. Please. Eat him out. Yeah, fuck this guy. Hit that no, I'm watching. Eat him out. Get your shoulder down. It's like everyone. I'm not fucking shaking it away. You gotta stay in there, stay in the pocket. Oh no. This is news to me, bro. Keep in, don't go back, bro. Oh yeah. I'm not, gonna fly, I'm not gonna fight you with fire. You gotta walk through the fire. I'm not gonna be uh, hard, bro. I promise you. You just here, just here, bro. Trust me. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Rip this side. See that side's open there. You gotta rip that to him. Put dig in the Like this? Yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bro, I've squad that many times, bro. I've bled from everywhere, bro. Trust me. There's this thing I think is really true amongst entrepreneurs, especially when you get a lot of money at a young age like we have and you start building value for yourself, you either go one of two ways. You don't hang around in the middle. It's either you find God and you go to the light or you go full degeneracy because now you've got this money and you can just dive into all the pleasures and all the cheap shit that the world has to offer. So choose God, go to the light, don't go to hell. If you're constantly around people doing better than you, it's going to drive you to be better. Yeah. It's better to feel like a bum in a place like Dubai and be motivated by that then feel like the top G of some small place in yeah. Australia and then just get complacent. And top of that, yeah, the second thing is belief. When you're around and you see wealth 24 seven, you see everyone doing better than you leave your house and you know nearly everyone I see out here. You see Tiki Tok, you see all these motherfuckers just printing money out of thin air. Obviously then it kind of slowly rewires your brain to go like, I can do it. Like you see people who are average, you sit across the table from them and they've got like 100K months, 100K weeks. And you look at them and you go, yeah, yeah. It's risk tolerance, but it's also attention. Like you can just pick up a camera and start filming, get massively like massively popular. Then you can monetize it however you want. He always maybe calculated with how he built that attention, but that attention is what's getting him money. 
you don't actually have to be smart. That's the mistake people make. All the smartest people make the most money, but that's so wrong because you can be an absolute idiot. Like a lot of these streamers, for example, you know they're not smart. You know they have low IQ, but the reason they print money is because they're entertaining or whatever maybe maybe they're funny, whatever it is. You build that attention, then you can just print from that attention however you like. Where attention goes, money flows. The thing is as well is learning sales, learning marketing, all these things take time. There's one thing that every single one of you can start right now with no barrier to entry and have the most possible leverage and the single lowest barrier to entry way to get leverage quickly is just by posting content. Any one of you can pick up a phone and start yapping, talking shit, and you can get insane amounts of leverage from that, but you don't. Why? Are you scared about what fucking John from year 11 is gonna say about you? Do you actually care? Does the version of yourself that you wanna be care about that? If they do, then shush, get off my video. Don't play it safe, all right? Do not play it safe, especially if you're under the age of 30 years old, you, have you don't have kids, you don't have a mortgage, you don't have car payments, you're living with your mum and dad. What do you actually have to lose? Nothing. Like, I look at some people that have zero debt, kids or anything like that, and it's like, what are you doing with your day? Yeah. Like, what are you actually doing? You have nothing to lose, you're never going to be this young again, and you just want to sit at home and play Fortnite. I just think you're wasting your time, and you're going to look at people like Marcel in Dubai, in Cape Town, in Miami, and be like, oh, he just got lucky, he's a scammer. It's like, no, you have 24 hours. Marcel has 24 hours. He just used it differently. What would you choose? You're starting again, you just finished school, you're 18. You have the opportunity to get an apprenticeship, go to university or take a gap year. What is young Marcel doing, 18 year old Marcel? I would literally do what I did just earlier. Like, I think sales and marketing, once you learn those two skills, you can apply them to any business. But what else would you learn? Sales and marketing, you learn sales through building a personal brand, I mean, marketing through learning a personal brand anyway. I would just learn marketing, learn sales. Sales is gonna allow you to stack cash in the first place. So it's like, sales isn't just gonna be a good skill to learn, but it's gonna actually allow you to print money whenever you want, and you'll never be broke again. Learn how to sell. You add marketing to that, then you can succeed in whatever business. The easiest way to get free money that literally anyone can do right now, I'll give you a free business model that you can start today. All you need to do is post content, grow a TikTok following, grow an X following, grow an Instagram following, grow on, grow on all platforms. Just post content, three videos a day for 30, 40, 50 days and you'll grow an audience. Once you grow that audience, all you need to do is then start posting content about how you grew that audience. So many people wanna grow on socials nowadays and they don't know how. If you can just go online, talk about how you grew your audience to 50,000 or 100,000 followers, then you sell an offer on how to grow an audience, how to build a personal brand, how to post good content, whatever it may be, and you price it at $5,000. You only need to sell two offers then to get to your first $10,000 a month, or you sell four at $2,500, teaching people how to do exactly what you do. As soon as you have that information and the knowledge on how to do X, how to grow a following, and you sell that to the audience that you have based around how to grow a following, then you can just print money, attention, and information. Two most important things that you can have. So basically what these guys are telling you is, if you wanna start a business, go for a business. You wanna sell tables, you're gonna to have to buy this material first, then you're gonna to have to hire someone to make it, or make it yourself with your own time. Then you sell it for double the price. If you gain information that you can sell, that doesn't cost anything to put out. What I told my appointment is that is, is right, it, it always has to be a big vision. Paint it clearly, because if your goals leave your nine to five, 10K a month, Rari, once you get that, then what, you stop working. So it breeds complacency if you don't have a, a vision that's bigger than yourself, bigger than materialistic shit. And that's what you see with people who are like, I need a boat, I need a Rari, I need 10K a month. Those are always the losers. 
that end up not amounting to shit because one, it's not a big enough vision. It's not something that's really worth working for. Like even money isn't the motivating factor. If, if you're driven by money or like 10K, 6K, six figures a month, that's not big enough. Like it needs to be what impact do I want to have in the world? What is my vision for myself and for people around me? That's the stuff that's actually going to make you successful. And then at, from that, money will be a byproduct. Doing the input will be a byproduct. But at the end of the day, you need to be able to cast a vision, be able to look into that vision, and then eventually you'll be able to step into it. But if you don't have that vision there, then all your work is just going to be in vain because you don't know where you're going. It's like trying to fly a plane, but you don't know where the destination is. You just fly into your crowd. That's the real question. Hit him, Dan Hooker. Hit him. Put him in a put him in a box. Do it for your ancestors. Oh my god, is that fucking Jones? Get him. Hey, Phil and Marley. Fortune favors the bowl. <laughs> Put the gloves on. The only way to get your dream life is to understand what that is. That's what every everyone on my sales team, everyone I speak to, I say, the number one piece of, of advice, whenever someone asks me for advice, I say, what do you want? Money freedom but that's all just stuff that you've been programmed that you should want you know what i mean it's not what do you actually want so then i'll say okay you're giving me broad bullshit terms that don't mean anything that's okay everyone wants money everyone wants freedom i say what do you want what is it what does your dream life actually look like and then they go oh i don't know how do you expect to get there if you don't know what it is so then i say how much money do you want to be making a year oh, i don't know well how the fuck do you expect to get to that much money how much money do you want to be making a month a week where do you want to live what does your house look like how big is your family right you can never get clear enough on what your vision is and every fucking other month I come like I paint my vision again because if you don't know where you're going once again then how can you get there and I say how much do you want to be making a year I don't know a month week day where do you want to be living how big is your house how many bedrooms what do the bedrooms look like you need to be able to see this shit you need to be able to see it clearly if you want to step into it else you're never going to get into it last year I had a, vi I had a fucking vision board and on that was the Dubai Marina now when I every morning I wake up it's on the I'm on the Dubai Marina. Why? Because I painted a vision. There's vision, so you need to be able to see and understand what you want. There's from that you get a plan. So you've got the vision, you can see what you want. Then you break that down into a plan. What actions, what steps do you need to take to get there? The third thing is then belief, because you can have these two, but if you don't believe you can do it, then it, it's all for nothing. So you need to believe it's possible. You need to be able to see what it is that you want, then you need a plan. You have those three things, you'll be successful. What's up, chat? W's in the chat for Mitchell. Mitchell, explain to them your business model. <laughs> I just do crypto. How's that going for you? Oh, terrible. Lost everything. I'm actually homeless now. <laughs> Anyone want to dub this nice, young, Asian, <laughs> Asian male? Yeah, please. Where are you from? Spain. Espanol. Spain. Spain, but Australia as well. Yeah, I thought you were. Big day, on, big day on the paddle? Mate, hey, every day. Win? Again, someone's got to do it. It's not him, and it's not him. How many kgs? What are you talking? We're talking oh, yeah, no, yeah. 120. 120, bro? Coming like Tyson Fury. No, like, Gabby like Garcia, Garcia, bro. Someone like drunk. Maybe like drunk. Gabby Garcia, bro. I'm talking about bench press. What are you talking about? <laughs> Today we're going to a paddle tournament with the one and only, all the way from Spain. Spain. Kenny Cabeza, my bro. Oh my god. My bro. Is... I'm about to cut some cheeks. I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. Me, me. <laughs> Put the Adler's on. Would you get neck off a man for 10 mil? If Dylan does it, I'm fucking wait, wait. What was the question? What was the question? Would you get neck off a man for 10 mil? What's he look like? <laughs> Any of us. <laughs> I mean, if you lot do it first, I'm fucking joking. All right, what is paddle? Paddle is a version of tennis that was made in... Where are you looking down my feet from? <laughs> Show us the form. Wait, come have a look at the view of the Burj. Guys, come with me right now. You don't know what the Burj Khalifa is? It's basically... It's a Burj <laughs> Right there. Oh my god. That is Suncorp Stadium right there. Do you like this view? You know why this view this view look better? Wagwan, my people. So, obviously you guys know I'm a white Caucasian Christian male. 
So I had to kind of get some diversity hires to hit different markets. So we got a we got a black Christian, Spanish Christian, and we got a fans manager. All right, Kareem's coming. Give us a little intro to what we're about to go do. Kareem's not the only one coming tonight. Uh, what are we doing today? So we're actually heading off to Bowlers. We're gonna have an amazing view of the Burj Khalifa. And it's gonna be me and Marcel versus Dill. Why are you Hey! Black guys are genetically gifted, man. Yeah, you're right. He's got long, long, fish, long muscles fish. a little bit. Tennis. This guy's average. I don't know about this guy, but, you know, he's definitely... Yeah, I need you to change. On the Type shit. Type shit. Is he on steroids? The question that is on everyone's mind? No. Unfortunately. But you know who is on steroids? Not anymore. Wait till your time, Connie. I did Psalms and it was LGD, and within, because it's a oral one, within four days, my, I think I started, just started lifting, I was doing incline 17s, I went to 25s in like four days, like full reps. Do you do that LGBT? Stand on business. How she go and how she happen, it get drastic. Playing like that, the park is like Jurassic after dark. Gymnastic, a nigga done jumped the gate, trying to escape the gun spark. And if you Mitch McConaughey, 26, get rich or die trying. Huh. Huh. I ain't believe in this. God, ah, dude. Dylan Marley, fortune favors the bold. I'm Kenny, I'm 25, I'm single, and I can't disclose my income stream. 